Right Nation. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, so the Cowboys then went out there and signed Greg Zerline. What do that mean? Uh, it means a lot because we know we had issues last year as it relates to kicking. I thought that they did something with Kai Forbath, but I don't know all of the details of it. But we got a Greg Zerline now. So I can say this right now, that this team is changing. This team is going through a whole situation, a different situation for the nation. And on top of that, when you look at the collective picture of everything, we can say to ourselves, maybe, just maybe. And shout out to Natasha. She the one that hit me up with the information for the nation. Really appreciate you, Natasha. Thank you for holding it down like 5,000 pounds. Let's go, baby. <laughs> hey, who else can make breaking news on, dare I say, special teams? Hmm? Yeah, Natasha Bump, man, yes, yes. Who else can talk about the Dallas Cowboys? ESPN is happy because they didn't shut down Disney World, Disneyland. They didn't shut down all of those open market ideals. And then on top of that, <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys been in their mouths since then. That's the only thing that they can talk about, right? Dak Prescott and beyond. But now I can say this. What can a kicker do for us? Now, what that does is that now when we get to the 40 or we get to the to the actual 30, it's more valuable now. It's more like, hey, we can put money on the board now. Yes, Greg the leg. So we got the leg, the kicker. And I'm telling you guys right now, it's just something different about this team. A new flavor, a new funk. Oh, where were where were we ranked last year? Somebody help me out, Jay Outlaw. Shout out to you, man. It's a cold blooded name. Where were we ranked last year as it relates to their I say special team unit? And if you guys think that we're gonna be still same at that same location this year, oh oh his name is Legatron. <laughs> KMT72, shout out to you, man. Uh it's 28th or 29th last year. Oh my goodness. Dead last for some people. Do you guys believe? Do you guys feel? Do you guys sense? Or do you guys have a, a, a cognitive uh, notion that we're going to be ranked dead last again? <laughs> I don't think so. I think that, that we're going to be a whole lot better. I think that we're going to be looking at this thing and saying to ourselves, Cowboy Nation, hey, we're on a rise. And right now, right now, I think that Mike McCarthy... It's looking at it in these factors. I set out of a year. I set out. I looked at everything from A to Z, dare I say. And it's time for me to get my revenge. What's that dude said? I'm looking for revenge. What's that dude named Drake? We're looking for revenge, baby. It's going to be nasty this year. Y'all singing for me, looking for revenge. Yeah, y'all y'all, put that down in the comment box. Three years, $7.5 million. Yes, yes, yes. Because when we look at this thing, Cowboy Nation, and we say to ourselves, I do know that a lot of people are going to say, oh, he's just a kicker. Hmm. When are games won and lost? Oh, how many games can you lose by one point? Y'all put that down in the comment box. How many games you can lose by two points? Put that down in the comment box. How many games can you lose by four points, five points, seven points? Yes, the, J Form, the Clown Boys just proved that they need a real GM. This is from J Form D. I don't know. I don't know if this is Jerry Dwayne Jones making these decisions. I'm looking at it like this, Cowboy Nation. Shout out to my brother from another mother. No other. Don't look like Danny Glover, but he keep it cool with us and keep it real with us all the time with the great information for the nation. But I got to say this one way or another. We got to say this. I don't think that this is Jerry Wayne Jones' decisions, although he may sign off on it. I'm looking at it like this. Maybe, oh, Jerry, he's sitting back saying to himself, I'm just going to sit back because they fired my son. They let my son go. Jason Garrett, they let him go. I wanted to keep him. I thought that Jason Garrett could win multiple Super Bowls with the Dallas Cowboys, but they let him go. <laughs> so 
Is this a Stephen Jones situation? Is this a Will McClay? Or is this, what's that guy's name? What's that guy's name that's under Mike McCarthy? What's his name, Rob or something? Y'all put it down. I think Rob Davis. Just Rob Davis. Who is it? Well, this is a collective situation. Uh, one kicker, one year, have one year deal, and the other one have the three year deal. Let's kick to the finish. <laughs> Let's kick to the finish, baby. All the way to the finish line. Greg Zerlai missed the second most kicks in 2019 behind Brett Mayer. This is from Jay Farm. Okay, some objectivity there. He said he missed kicks. Oh, so this is what they're doing. Remember this. $7.5 million to a kicker for a three-year deal. We don't know <clears throat> how much that money is guaranteed, right? Well, that's John Fossil. Now, John Fossil may be looking at it like this. I know, I know what Greg Zerlein can do. I don't know what this Kyle Forbath can do. I know for sure I can put my hands and identify what's going on with this guy. I don't know if the contract is guaranteed throughout for seven years. We don't know. So what I can say is this right here, Cowboy Nation. What, 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 what do we talk about all the time? Steel, sharpen what? Steel. 3.5 guaranteed. Okay, that is a lot of guarantee for a kicker. <laughs> They're going to kick to the battle. They're going to race each other to the battle. They're going to end up fighting each other for the battle. They're going to end up sitting there saying to themselves, who's more accurate? And on top of that, if Kai Forbath, because we did it before, I forgot the name of this linebacker we picked up during the offseason. We gave him three point something million dollars and he ended up not getting, <laughs> he ended up not making the team. We're going to line them up and lace them up, baby. That's what I wanted anyway. Let's fight for the battle. Just like I'm telling you guys now, I definitely, I'm definitely not, not, I'm definitely not lying to kick it with you all. I'm saying it right now. That's why I want Dez Bryant to come back during training camp, during preseason. I don't want Dez Bryant giving anything. That's why I like the fact that they, that this coaching staff looked at Jason Witten and said, we appreciate your services for the Dallas Cowboys. Unfortunately, uh, they're no longer required here in Big D. So, I'm going to say this. Steel sharp and steel, iron sharp and iron. So that's why, Law Nation, I don't want nothing given to me. I want to work and earn everything I gain. And on top of that, if you're giving it to me, I'm looking at you with the side eye. That's why I want competition on every level. I want competition. People be thinking I'm hating on Dak Prescott. I said it earlier. I want to bring competition in even for him. Leave no stone unturned. Look at every penny and pick it up. I don't care where it falls. I'm picking up a penny on the ground. Penny save is what? A penny what? Earned in every position, line by line, precept upon precept. We doing this thing. And I ain't preaching to you. This is just the realities of life. I don't want nothing given to me. And you guys should have the same type of mental attitude and mental complexity and thoughts of your mind. If something given to you, you should look at it like, nah, I want to earn my game. Oftentimes on YouTube, you click around. And there's these people talking about, hey, join my services and I can show you a way to get more YouTube views or click this product to get more views and all this stuff. I don't want it. I tell them, why will I pay you to have the people to see me? Hmm? I don't want to pay you for that type of services because I don't want nobody to be bought views. I don't want that. I want to earn everybody's attention. That's why I go live like 95. So if I mess up, or if I stumble over a word, guess what? It's raw. Hmm? It's nothing written. And I want everybody to have that same tenacity, fortitude of their mind to do the same thing. So that's why when you bring in a Greg Zerline, everybody know that he's already earned his, his grains of salt. And Kyle Forbath looking at it like, man, dog, I thought I was going to be sweet this year. 
I thought it was going, I thought I would be able to drink a few Mai Tais. I thought I was going to be able to sit back and chill, but no, that heat pressure is on the back of his neck. Same for Ezekiel, the main man, Elliot. Y'all better wake up, Cowboy Nation. This is a new era. This old buddy-buddy system, the uh, collective thoughts of our minds of how it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you could throw that in, five years ago, two years ago, one year ago. No, it's a new era. Ain't that right, Alex? Shout out to you guys. Don't forget to put down where you're from. Let people know where you're from. Also, let the nation know where you're from. Let everybody know where you're from. Put that down in the comment box, baby. Uh, John Fausel, yes, I like his mental attitude. Bones, Coach Bones. Plano, Texas in the house of Louisiana. Get down, baby. 904, what's good, Plano? Neil from Plano, what's good with you? California, shout out to Oak Cliff, too. Lance Satchel, Fort Worth in the house. What's good? Cam, oh, Cam. Cam, what's good with you, fam? I see you, fam. Delaware in the house. What's good with you, man? See, we the only nation that can do this. Right now, Philly fans, Buffalo Bills fans, New York Giants. They can't say, hey, man, where y'all from, bruh? <laughs> Carrollton, Texas. What's good with you? Yeah. Yeah, Dallas, Texas, born. That's my guy, Alex. What's good with you, man? All right, Cowboy Nation. So we signed Greg Zerline. You see the little picture, pointing. This is where the kick gonna be good at. <laughs> yeah, Cedar Hill, Texas. What's up, man? Hey, Scott, they brought that Total Wine and More down in Cedar Hill. Look, it looks really good. Shout out to Total Wine and More. Uh, Q Child, what's good with you, man? Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Shout out to you guys. Skywalker Steel. Y'all know he brings in the new field for the Dallas Cowboy Nation, baby. Y'all check out his information for the nation and let this thing grow. Um, Arkansas. Yes, what's good? Washington State. <laughs> Quest Cowboy, my brother from another mother, man. Really appreciate you, Quest. All right, done for it. So, that was a little breaker over how many people was in here and uh, telling people, telling me where they from. Um, also, feedback time. Let me know if you guys liking this move right quick. High four bath versus a Greg Zerline. Yes. Do you guys feel like the competition? Shout out to the UK. It's going to get even better, stronger. And do, don't you guys feel that iron art sharpen iron, steel sharpen steel? Shout out to my guy Jay, man. Really appreciate you so much, man. Look, I like Jay Form because he brings in some objectivity. And I'm tired of Jay Form being right. So <laughs> last year you said we went eight, you're gonna go eight and eight. We was right. I think you said nine or seven or eight and eight, something like that. And you was right. So Whatever the record going to be this year, don't say it, Jay. Don't say it <laughs> unless it's more than 10 games. If it's more than 10 games, then you can put it down there. But if it's not more than 10 games, don't say it, Jay. Don't say it, Jay. Don't say it, Jay. <laughs> Law, but in the salary cap lead uh, money talk. All right, so let me talk a little bit on that. I, I, I've seen some people uh, comment on my last feed about my last previous video about Dak Prescott being the highest quarterback. And, and I got tons of people that's uh, anti-Dak. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But those that are pro-Dak, can you go back to my previous video and converse with those brothers that's anti-Dak so I can get a clarity where the nation is at? I will say this, going back and forth with one another, I know a lot of people say it's not a good thing, but it's a good thing go to nation so I can get the collective mindset of what you guys are thinking. My thing is, is that the quarterback, I'm going to say this again, <laughs> the market is always moving. It's a moving target. There's no way that this market sits for two to five years at a current rate that it is. So $35 million today, is cheap $35 million four years from now. It's a crazy number when you look at it. They're going to say, man, can you believe four years ago they was paying $35 million to a quarterback? Now these suckers are getting 65, 68. It's going to get like that. 
Pat Mahomes is waiting for Dak Prescott to get this contract. Matter of fact, Pat Mahomes' agent is talking to Dak Prescott agent saying, hurry up, <laughs> sign the dotted line so we can get some money. That's what they saying. <laughs> Won't you hurry up? Y'all need some ink pens down there so we can start working on our guy contract. And Dak Prescott agency is looking at it like this. We want the bag because we represented you and we know for sure that if we lowball you, we might not can get another agent. We might not can get another client. That's how it goes. Uh, yeah, pay Dak 33 for 108 for five years. They're looking for a four-year deal. Shout out to you, Quest. I couldn't read all of it. Uh, hey, Law, I really <laughs> want to start a, uh, a channel like what you're doing. This is from my guy, HD. I can't see the first name. We're going away. It's easy. I'm doing this from a cell phone. That's all you need to do. Have your mind right and do it from a cell phone. That's how you start your YouTube channel, Facebook channel, Instagram channel, straight from a cell phone. Not too special. Straight from a cell phone, Cowboy Nation. All right, we signed Greg Zerline to a three-year deal, 7.5 7 mil, three mil guarantee. Really appreciate you all. I got to run up out of here. Shout out to Natasha for dropping the bomb, dropping the information for the nation. I really appreciate it. Shout out to you, Q. Thank you, everybody, man. Thank all of the mods for regulating. I know it's hard, baby. Let's continue to grind to shine, baby. I really thank you all for your time. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go, Cowboy Nation. Let's go. Salute.